Hello students, so now we are going to discuss the percentage composition. But first, let's define what is percentage composition. So the percentage composition is the amount of each element present in a compound that is expressed in percent. So we will not have a clue that it should be in percentage. The answers should be in percentage. So what is the formula in finding the percentage composition? So percentage composition is equal to the molar mass of the element over to the molar mass of the whole compound multiply by 100%. So that is the formula. That is the formula in finding the percentage composition. Okay, so before we start the percentage composition, you must recall how to get the molar mass. Okay. So, how to get the molar mass? Molar mass is equal to the atomic weight multiplied by the number of atoms. For example, Example number one for finding the molar mass. What is the molar mass of H2O? So here, in a compound H2O, we know we have two hydrogen and one oxygen. That is the number of atoms. In finding the molar mass, we need to use your periodic table and finding their atomic weight. Okay, so first, hydrogen, the atomic weight of the hydrogen is 1.01 multiplied by the number of their atom, which is 2. So therefore, we can get 2.02. Uh, 2 .02. In oxygen, we have 16 as the atomic weight multiplied by the number of atom, which is 1. So we have now 16. We will just add the molar mass of hydrogen and oxygen to get the whole molar mass of the compound, which is 18.02. So, if we are asked to find the molar mass of the hydrogen, the answer is 2.02. .02. That is the mass of two hydrogen. If you are asked the molar mass of oxygen, the answer is 16. So, in H2O, that have one oxygen, the molar mass is 16. But if we ask the total molar mass of the compound H2O, the answer is 18.02. Since you already recall how to get the molar mass, let's dive in in solving the percentage composition. For example number one, what is the percentage composition by mass of hydrogen in H2O? Okay, so the first thing we should find is the molar mass of hydrogen and H2O. 
for us to transpose the value to the formula of the percentage composition. Okay, so let's start with the formula of our percentage composition. Model mass of the element over the model mass of the whole compact. Multiplied by 100%. Okay, so first, find the molar mass of the element. So, ano po ba yung element na hinahanap? That is the hydrogen. To find the molar mass of hydrogen, we know that hydrogen in the compound H2O is 2 and we have 1 oxygen. So, H is equals to 1.01, .01, that is the atomic mass, multiplied by the atomic number, which is 2.02. .02. Next is oxygen. 16, multiply by 1, which is 16.00, and then add to get the whole molar mass of the whole compound, we have 18.02. So, it is the same with the recall of our molar mass computation. Now, we have the value of H, which is the 2.02. .02. So, therefore, we will transpose the value, the molar mass of the element H or, or hydrogen is 2.02. .02. Divide to the molar mass of the whole compound. So, ano po ba yun? The 18.02. Transpose the value. Multiply by 100%. Okay? So, 2.02 .02 divide 18.02. .02 is it? So now we will transpose all the value that we found by computing the molar mass of hydrogen and oxygen. So the molar mass of the element is 2.02 .02 because that is in the question we must find the percentage of hydrogen and that is 2.02. .02. Second one is 18.02. .02. Why? Because that is the whole molar mass of the compound H2O. Multiply by 100 is equal to 0 0.100. Well, multiply by 100%. The answer is 11.2%. So 11.2% is the percentage composition of hydrogen in H2O. But what if we are going to ask to find the percentage of uh, oxygen in the H2O? So, madali na lang po yan. Because we now have the value of molar mass ng oxygen, which is 16. So, 16.0. Taas na lang po natin. Ayan. 16.0 divide, again, the molar mass of the whole compound, 18.02, multiply by 100%, the answer is 88, oh no, 0 0.888 times 100%. Okay, so multiply. The answer is 88.8%. Now, if we add 11.2 and 88.8%, we now have 100%. Okay? So, we now conclude that the percentage composition of hydrogen is 11.2% in a compound of H, uh, in a compound of H2O 
and the percentage composition of oxygen in a compound of H2O is 88.8%. For second example, calculate the percentage by mass of iron in FeCl3. So let's analyze the problem. So the compound have two elements, Fe and Cl. So we have one iron and three chlorine. So first, we must find the molar mass of iron and FeCl3. So first, Fe is equals to the atomic mass of Fe is 55.5 multiplied by number of atom, which is 1. That is 55.85. Same lang. Next is chlorine. The atomic weight of our chlorine in the periodic table is 35.45. Multiply by 3. Why? Because in FeCl3, we have 3 chlorine. So the answer is 106.45. Just add to get the whole molar mass, which is 162.2. Okay, so this value, yan, itatranspose lang po natin sa ating formula of percentage composition. Since we are asked to find the percentage of iron, we will be using 55.85, the molar mass of iron. So, 55.85 divide by the whole uh, molar mass of the compound, which is 162.2 multiplied by 100%. The answer is, yes, 0.344 multiplied by 100%. The answer or the final answer is 34.4%. Okay, so 34.4% is the percentage of iron in the compound FeCl3. So now let's find the percentage by mass of chlorine in FeCl3. So it is just easy because we already the molar mass of chlorine which is 106.35 we will just transpose the value so 106.35 divide the whole ma molar mass of the compound 162.2 multiply by 100 percent the answer is 0. 656 multiplied by 100%. So the final answer is 65.6%. Okay. So 65.6% is the percentage of chlorine in a compound FeCl3. If we add 34.4%, and 65.6, we can have 100%. So in this process, by adding the two uh, percentage by mass of each element in a compound, and if we got 100%, so we can now uh, said that the computation is correct. Sample number three. Find the element with the largest percentage composition in a compound CaOH2. Is it Ca, oxygen, or hydrogen? So, as we analyze the problem or the compound, we can conclude that we have 1 Ca, 
two oxygen and two hydrogen. Why? Because of this two. This are uh, the subscript two. If we have subscript, we distribute the value so that oxygen and hydrogen have two value. So again, in finding the percentage composition, we must find the molar mass of each element and the whole compound. Ca have 40.08 atomic weight and 1 because it is only 1. The answer is 40.08. Next is oxygen, 16.00 times 2. Why 2? Because of this. Okay, so we can now have 32.0 and for each hydrogen, 1.00 times 2. And we will now have 2. So the molar mass of CA is 40.08, molar mass of our oxygen is 32, and hydrogen is 2. Add all together to find the whole molar mass of the compound. And the answer is 74.08. Um, okay, so that is the molar mass. Now, let's compute the percentage composition of each element. For CA, CA have 40.08, that is the molar mass of the element, divided by the molar mass of the whole compound, which is 74.80 or 0 0.08 multiplied by 100%. So, you can now compute that in your calculator, and the answer will be 54.1%. For oxygen, we have, or we will be using 32.0 divided by the whole uh, molar mass of the compound, which is 74.08, multiplied by 100% and the calculator will give us the answer 43.20% for hydrogen we'll be using the value of 2 because that is the molar mass of hydrogen which is 2.00 divide 74.08 which is the molar mass of the whole compound multiplied by 100% the answer will be 2.70%. Okay, so now you can say that CA have 54.1%, oxygen have 43.20%, and hydrogen have 2.70%. If we add all the percentage of each compound, we can have 100%. Okay, so the answer for number three, find the element with the largest percentage composition in a compound. So the element have the largest percentage composition is 54.1 and that is element CA or the calcium.